Inside this black box is arguably one of the most powerful tools we carry in our cruisers today. If you want to know what it is, stay tuned. What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. The device that I was referring to today is our mobile APHIS device. The device itself is about the size of a smartphone, so not really a whole lot bigger, but it is an extremely powerful tool that we utilize in our cruisers today. Usually it's more commonly utilized by road patrol because they're usually out and about and they come across circumstances where they would need to use the APHIS or the mobile APHIS machine. Now the mobile APHIS system that we're currently using has garnered a lot of attention and questions through our social media platforms. Um, there's a lot of interest in it so I thought it would be beneficial to do a video on it just to illustrate how this device works and what we use it for and how we use it. One of the questions asked was when do we use the device? We use a mobile APHIS device when there's a need to identify someone based on a couple different things. Number one, they could be hiding their identity from us, meaning giving us a false name. Number two, they could be a deceased person that we need to identify. Number three, could be an individual that is mentally diminished and has, doesn't have the ability to give us their name and date of birth and so forth. So, the big question is, how do we use it? The mobile APHIS device works by taking your right index fingerprint and your left index fingerprint and running it through a series of databases. It runs it through the state of Nebraska's fingerprint database. It also runs those prints through the FBI's database. Now we don't get the entire FBI database, we get a subsection of the FBI database called the RISC section. And RISC stands for Repository for Individuals of Special Concern. In a nutshell, what that database includes are all the fingerprints for the criminal um, side of society. Once the officer captures both sets of fingerprints, he'll then take the mobile APHIS device back to his cruiser where he'll plug it into his um, in-car uh, computer to have it interface with the database. And again, those fingerprints are gonna be ran through the FBI's risk database and also the state of Nebraska fingerprint database. It usually takes about 20 to 30 seconds to get a response back uh, from the fingerprints that the officer ran. The most common type of response an officer usually will get is either a red hit. The other type is a green hit. Normally what we're looking for are the red hits because that's gonna indicate that those prints match something in either one of those databases. Typically, if the subject has been arrested before, it will usually come back with their most recent mugshot. The whole entire process takes less than five minutes. It's not a, a big long drawn out process. We capture both prints, we plug the device into the computer, it tells us who this person is and we act accordingly on the information that we get from the device. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoy that little bit of information on our mobile fingerprint scanners. As always, make sure you like, share, you know it. Subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.